What is happening? It's J Mo, and it's time for another video with Shotty Mo Shell Pools. And today we are back to doing some more HGA reveals for you guys. I'm pretty excited about this one, not because I've got some super heat, but because I believe this is the first time I have requested any custom labels. So pretty excited about it. I did get lucky, get quite a few of these submissions in back to back. And so they have been coming in hot recently. And I'm glad you guys are here to join me on this journey to see if we can get something sweet, some good grades, and hopefully have some beautiful cards to add to the PC. So without further ado, we are not going to waste too much time. As you know, there's only five cards in these because that is all you can uh, get graded at one time per submission. So we are going to do a little slow roll as usual to see how surprised we can get with some of these grades, okay? So once again, I apologize for those who don't enjoy the slow roll, but got to try to make this video at least close to five minutes, right guys? <laughs> so thank you again for joining me and let's see what these slabs look like. Let's push these off to the side a little bit so we can get a little bit more of a solo view of what we got going on here. All right, all right. So here we go, here we go. HGA submission number one is the rookie force Clyde Hilaire or Clyde Edwards Hilaire on the absolute football patch. Um, not number, just a base patch. Thought it was a pretty cool. I thought with the um, team colors, it might be a pretty look, uh, sweet looking slab for the patch. Definitely did a great job running the ball last year until he got hurt and then kind of came back on, but didn't really get the shine in the playoffs like he maybe should have. So we'll see it this year. He has a little bit more to offer later in the season for these guys. But without further ado, let's get it. Here we go. Here we go. We're looking for that 9-5 if possible. Boom. All right. So we got edges and centering as a 9-5. Can we get a true gem mint? We did get the red flare. I'm not seeing any yellow in it. And we got, boom, we got a true gem mint. 9-5 on the Clyde Edwards Hilaire. And, yeah, that's a sweet-looking slab. They got the red there with a little bit of the yellow accent. So looks really, really good. I like that slab a lot. I think it looks pretty dang pretty, uh, pretty dang good. What do you guys think of that one? Tell me in the comments below. Don't forget to leave me that thumbs up. And let's move on to the next one. Pretty sweet slab right there. This next one, if I can get a true gem mint, will make me just as happy because this is the big guy, Mr. Joe Burrow. It's going to be interesting to see what he does when he comes back from that ACL surgery. Hopefully he comes back to form and he still has a chance to put that team on his back and give them a shot into the playoffs in the near future and turn that franchise around for him. Joe Burrow definitely has a good arm, but man, sometimes when you lose that ACL, it can change everything for you. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully he gets back to being 100% or better. All right. We're not going to waste too much time. We already know, like I said, it's the same type of card, same patch. We're looking for that true gem mint of a 9.5. And there it is. It's the black patch on that one. So black patch with the orange. So I think once again, I did team colors. Let's get it. Here we go. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. We got 9595 so far. Can we get it again? Can we get the True Gym Mint? Bam. We sure did. This one is all orange with the black splash on the top, but it looks great with that card. I think that looks very, very sweet. So back to back, 9.5s on the Relic. True Gym Mints, 9.5 all the way around. Always surprised to see that on my relics, but I guess I've been getting some good ones recently. So very happy to see that, guys. Very, very cool card. Let's put that right there. Got our two football relics out the way. Next up, we got Mr. Trey Young. I want to say I pulled this out of the status uh, T-Mall from 2019-20. It's an upper echelon of Trey Young. These cards look sweet. I want to say I chose a custom label because I saw another custom label on this one that looked really dang sweet. So I'm hoping that this one looks something similar, or at the very least, even better. So Trey Young, upper echelon, not a short print, not a parallel of any kind, I don't believe. But it is a great looking card and slapped up should look even better. So let's take a look at this. Let's flip it around. Look at that beauty of a card. I mean, those upper echelon cards look quite amazing. I mean, whew. Not bad at all. I think you can still get those T-Mall boxes for a pretty good price, too. All right, so let's take a look at this custom label, guys. Let's see if they did us any justice. We got, oh, we got a 10, but we only got a 9 on our edges. But we did get a 10 on the centering. Next up, boom, 9-5 on the surface. 
I mean, corners, nine on the surface for a nine five on the grade. And that is a pretty cool looking slab. I like that. That looks pretty good. I like that a lot. Got a little bit of the kind of blue and purplish and stuff like that. Black and kind of, I don't know what color that is there, but it's not necessarily a red. It's a little bit off, but I like it. I think that slab looks pretty cool, guys. Tell me what you think of that one. Very nice looking slab right there for the upper echelon of Trey Young. I will take that all day. All right, only two cards left. This one is another card that's just a regular parallel that I pulled out of the uh, Illusions, I believe. These cards are very underrated. Um, I want to say I pulled this out of the Hobby Box. No, I might have pulled this out of the uh, Mega Box. But here we go. Let's take a look. We got Steph Curry. I forgot what the name of this one is. It's the, uh, what's the insert? Oh, boy, I can't remember. <laughs> okay, let's just get it over with. Let's turn this bad boy around. It's the Mystique. That's right, the Mystique insert. So I definitely like that blue parallel. Yeah, that's the, uh, I want to say that's the Mega Box version. Very nice looking card. Steph Curry, one of my favorite players of all time. So, of course, I got to get it slabbed up. I love that. After probably hitting, it's going to be 6th or 7th, 3 right there probably. <laughs> so let's see what Mr. Steph has going for us today. I want to say I did another custom label on this one. So let's see how they did for us. Boom. Oh, we got a 10 and a 9-5 again. Edge of centering. Next up coming, it is corners and surface, 10 and 9 for another 9-5. Man, we're getting closer and closer to that 10, guys. <laughs> That's a good-looking card. Nothing too crazy about that. Maybe I just did the color uh, match or something like that because there's nothing really too custom or crazy about that label or slab right there. But either way, I think it still looks fantastic with that blue and then the yellow chevron accents right there. Looks great with that card, so very happy to have that in the collection. I think it looks pretty sweet. All right, four down and one to go. And so far, guys, we are at a pretty good gem mint rate of four in a row. Can we go five for five on the actual submission? One time for your mind. Is it possible? This card is a pretty cool one. I pulled this one out of a, I want to say a hanger box, maybe. Um, this is my Tua. Tagovailoa, or Tagovailoa. <laughs> uh, this I want to say is the club level um, prism. So it's a pretty sweet card here, guys. And I say, you know, let's get it slabbed up. I can't remember if I just did team color, color match for the card, or if it's custom. But I hope I did it custom, because I surely didn't just do one card that was custom. All right, so let's take a look at this. Boom. That is a sweet looking card right there. I like that a lot. Die cut action. Light blue. I want to say it came out of the hanger. If not, then it must have been a blaster, I guess. I did not get any hobby of this stuff this year. So let's see what we can get on this custom label. Boom. Edges, 9.5. Centering, 9.5. And our final grades, boom. 9.5 and a 9.0 for a total of a 9.5 once again. Uh, that's an interesting custom label, guys. I mean, I don't know if it's kind of like shattered glass. I mean, it's not even a cracked ice, but <laughs> that's kind of what they did with that one. Looks pretty interesting, but colors look decent. I'm not going to complain about that one. I definitely like the, uh, the team colors inside there. That looks pretty sweet, but not really sure about the custom part on the inside. I was kind of hoping maybe they'd do something with these kind of, you know, markings and chevrons and stuff that they have on the card, but hey, I'm not going to complain, guys. We got five nine fives today. Very interesting on this custom label. Won't say it's the best one that I'm super excited about it, but like I said, definitely not going to complain about it either. So there we go. Five nine point fives in one submission. Man, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good rate right there. I'm pretty excited about these guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the reveal. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment in the section, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.